Hi everyone and welcome. Today is our first couponing and cooking video and we're going to go ahead and make a skillet using oven dried tomatoes as well as chicken breast that we got from our meat haul the other day. So let's jump right in. We're going to start with the tomatoes first because one, we have to go ahead and get this in the oven about two and a half hours before we actually start doing the main portion of our meal. And during this time, you definitely want to make sure that you have your oven preheated to 250 degrees because this is going to be a slow roast as this takes two and a half hours. So I got these cherry tomatoes over at Mariano when there was a BOGO deal on the 10 ounce containers. So we paid $3.49 for the both of them, but for today's video, I'm probably gonna use about 10 ounces and the rest I'll probably snack throughout the week. So I'm just gonna be cutting the tomatoes lengthwise. So we're gonna go ahead and place these tomatoes open-faced up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put as many tomatoes that I can fit into this container. And if you like tomatoes, definitely go ahead and use more, but I think this will be enough for today. All right, then I'm gonna be sprinkling some sea salt on top of the tomatoes because that's gonna help it dry out in the oven. So I just use about two pinches of salt or so, but you don't wanna use too much salt because that's definitely gonna make the tomatoes a little too salty for this dish. So our oven's ready for these tomatoes. So we're gonna go ahead and put these in for about two hours and 30 minutes. So our timer is going off and these tomatoes are ready to be taken out and they smell so good. Our whole place smells amazing. I love doing this even though it does take quite a while but it's so worth it and the taste is just absolutely amazing. All right, so our skillet is on and we're gonna go ahead and use about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of olive oil. And while that's heating up, I'm gonna go ahead and prep our chicken breast. For this recipe, we're gonna use one and a half pounds and the other day we got a three pound bag of chicken breast for $5.97 and we'll only be using half that bag. And then I'm gonna use about three tablespoons of flour to go ahead and evenly coat each piece. Then we're gonna go ahead and put the chicken right into the skillet and I let this cook on medium heat, five minutes per side. While that's heating up, I'm gonna go ahead and get my chicken broth ready. And last year we were able to get this college in infusions for free and I think it was a little bit of a money maker on Shopkick last year, which I'm kinda shocked I haven't seen any like beef broth or chicken broth freebies right now. But I'm gonna go ahead and use one cup of water and one teaspoon. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use three cloves of garlic. And honestly, I didn't coupon this cause I had a little garden on our balcony, but I will be looking for garlic deals in the future because this is the last of the garlic that I have adding this into the same skillet that we had our chicken in so chicken is done if I forgot to say that in the beginning and then I'm gonna go ahead and use one small shallot which cost us roughly 45 cents so you're gonna go ahead and whisk this in the skillet for about roughly two minutes and then you're gonna go ahead and add one tablespoon of flour just to kind of thicken up your base all right once all that's blended you're gonna go ahead and add that cup of chicken broth in I know the recipe calls for a half cup of half and half but honestly I think it tastes way Way better with the heavy whipping cream and we did get this whipping cream from a target video that we did when we did a promotion on the good and gather then you want to go ahead and grab your tomatoes and then we're gonna let this sit on medium heat until this comes to a boil and in the meantime we're gonna go ahead and prep our spinach and I picked the spinach up from Mariano's and right now this is still on sale for a dollar all right once you come to a boil you definitely want to go ahead and bring your heat down to low and have that simmer about for like three minutes then you want to go ahead and toss in your spinach And then I'm gonna go ahead and use some Parmesan, roughly about three tablespoons. I'm just gonna use a cheese that I have on hand in my fridge, but if you're looking for a cheese deal, definitely head over to Mariano's because you can pick up the Cracker Barrel for 49 cents. And then once you have all that mixed together, you wanna go ahead and get your plate, and then you're gonna go ahead and add your chicken breast, and you can go ahead and garnish it with fresh parsley, or you can go ahead and use some dried parsley and just kind of sprinkle that on the top, and that is it. So on average, this meal usually costs us about $10, but tonight it costs us only $7.92 for two people. Not too bad for a dinner meal. So thank you so much for watching this video. And if you guys have any comments, questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And I'll be linking this recipe in my description. Until next time, bye.